The president's positive COVID test comes as the Centers for Disease Control reports a summer surge in COVID-19 cases across the country. Including here in Nevada as well. Let's take you to the live desk. Steve Wolfer standing by. If the president contracted this four years ago in 2022, that strain was very deadly, but this disease has morphed a lot over the last four years. So what's he facing now? Yeah, basically uh, what we're talking about is uh, just a, a a COVID variant that's going around right now that tends to produce symptoms that are a lot more mild than the original virus that you're talking about uh, and also some of the earlier variants for that matter. Based on what we're hearing from the White House, that seems to be the case with President Biden this time around. The White House released this statement around 3.30 saying in part the president is vaccinated and boosted and is experiencing mild symptoms, adding that He'll be returning to Delaware, where he plans to uh, self-isolate and continue to carry out all of the duties fully during that time. Prior to the White House announcing Biden's COVID diagnosis, uh, he was doing a lot of handshaking, spending time with local politicians, including uh, State Attorney General Aaron Ford. And if you uh, read Ford's post, he said, Biden says, I'm sick. Ford responds, I might be too. We also, uh, there, there is the, the post that we're talking about. Good seeing you anyway. Um, have video of uh, the president doing some handshaking, making the rounds at Lindo Michoacan Mexican restaurant on De Desert Inn. That was right before he was supposed to go to the MGM to uh, address the Unidos US conference. The president also made the rounds at Mario's West Side Market. This is last night where he was also shaking hands, greeting supporters, so again, another opportunity to uh, be in a situation where he could conceivably come in contact with somebody with COVID in this summer surge that we're seeing. So it's an easy way to get it. You shake somebody's hand, you touch your eyes, and that's exactly what the doctors tell you not to do uh, just to avoid catching a virus. Uh, but we, uh, we understand the president has already been given a round of the antiviral Paxlovid. Uh, it's effective against COVID if it's taken within the first few days of the symptoms. And in this case, it sounds like President Biden got the uh, Paxlovid started within the first few hours. So what are the new versions of COVID making the rounds? We talked about that with Dr. Dahlia Wax. Whether it's the flirt mutation, the uh, LB1, KP3, we have a few Omicron subvariants that are now taking hold, causing a rise in hospitalizations, even a rise in deaths, luckily not as severe as we saw in the beginning of the pandemic. Um, we are also challenged with the fact that a lot of at-home COVID tests do not always pick it up right away. So those kinds of appearances when the candidates are in close contact with other people definitely make them more vulnerable to catching COVID-19. And then you throw in the fact that we're talking about conventions, conferences with guests coming here from all over the U.S. It explains why what happens here doesn't always stay here, at least if it's COVID. And think about this too, I'll throw this in. Depending on incubation time, it's also entirely possible the president contracted COVID before he got here on Monday mm -hmm. night, yeah. but didn't start showing any symptoms until today. So uh, we just don't know. We're not doctors. Uh, we, can only, right. we can only speculate, but uh, uh, he has had it a couple of times. He's got the, the boost, the, you know, he's been boosted. So he's got the, uh, you know, the immuno response, hopefully to stay healthy through this one. Back it, to you. And, and normally the president is so isolated, you wouldn't think, but in this case, he might even be a super spreader himself because he was interacting with so many people in town. He, right. had, he has had a very full schedule he here has. just yeah. in Southern Nevada. Yeah. Steve, thank you.